the diagnosis of personality disorder is not a particularly satisfactory one, uh, but it refers to uh, a problem where uh, people have often had traumatic experiences in childhood, sometimes abuse, uh, and as they grow into adulthood, uh, this affects them psychologically. Uh, it can make their uh, mood more variable. They can be prone to depression, very often self-harm, uh, sometimes volatility and aggression, uh, and problems in forming relationships. Uh, and those problems can extend into their, uh, how they get on with uh, health services and mental health staff. Uh, they can feel rejected, marginalised, uh, stigmatised by their diagnosis, uh, and, and that the service doesn't really give them uh, what they need. In our study, we looked at a number of cases in which a person with the diagnosis of personality disorder died by suicide or was convicted uh, of a homicide offence. And we looked at the nature of the care that they were receiving uh, at the time when this incident occurred. Uh, we also tried to find out about the care of personality disorder in general uh, by uh, setting up an online survey and by talking to staff uh, and patients. What we found was that uh, the patients were usually not receiving care uh, to the standard that's required by NICE guidance for personality disorder. Uh, they uh, had relatively poor access to specialist psychological therapies. Very often they received drug treatments instead and that was ineffective. Uh, they would uh, have uh, relatively poor continuity of care so that they would then present in a crisis. Services ended up responding to a crisis rather than preventing a crisis. Uh, and that meant that people had unnecessary uh, admissions, uh, sometimes under the Mental Health Act, and of course that contributed to uh, the rather challenging relationship between staff uh, and patients. Uh, one positive thing was that staff and patients uh, agreed uh, that the care wasn't satisfactory, that the skills of frontline staff weren't uh, sufficient, and that sometimes patients were marginalised by the diagnosis that ought to have led them to receive good care.